What are the lies that you're hearing that disturb you most? Oh, my God. Um. After the show, it's the after party, then. After the party, it's the hotel lobby, then. After the Belvy, then it's probably... There's real the girls out there missing. There's real young it's girls out there being abducted. It's Scott Ritter in the audience. I want to give it up to Scott Ritter. He unfortunately couldn't speak today. I'm happy with the outcome. I think the jury reached the right decision. Uh, they saw the case for what it is, and the defendant for what he is and for what he did. Yeah, he was found guilty of the majority of the charges, and uh, those, those charges in particular include uh, the unlawful contact with the minor, which was specifically uh, drafted and made for this type of activity, where officers can take a proactive approach instead of waiting for individuals like this to try to contact minors over the Internet and victimize them. It allows the police and the officers, in this case Detective Ryan Veneman, to take a more proactive approach and try to prevent that from happening to actual minors. Sometimes, uh, unfortunately, even though um, a person may know what they're doing is wrong, they may be intelligent uh, enough to try to avoid it and get away, uh, but however, sometimes the internal drive to engage in these types of deviant sexual behaviors is just too strong. In retrospect, it seems like the real reason he didn't mind doing sex work while I was living in CPI's New Jersey housing is because he probably wanted to become one of my clients for what it's worth. After I left the JBB house, he eventually did become a client of mine. This is not true. Right this is not, doesn't even make sense. Why would I hold all these women? Allegations of sexual harassment, improper behavior, and subsequent retaliation by the board chair, Nick Prana. Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, give it up for the Congresswoman. Thank you very much. Aloha. Oh, right now, I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement, and, and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street from their uncle. Robert. Stop it. Y'all quit playing. If you like this video, then uh, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now. Quit playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this I can't help 30 years of my will. Robert. 30 years of my will. Y'all trying to kill me. You killing me, man. This is not about music. I'm trying to have a relationship with my kids, and I can't do it. Y'all just don't want to believe the truth. You don't want to believe it. At this point, we briefly pause the interview to give Kelly a moment. His publicist helped calm him down. I hope this can...